breaking news now. There is another protest growing in Glendale. This is on Maryland Avenue. Uh, this is part of the protest we showed you earlier on the 170. Members of the Armenian community uh, trying to get some attention for what they call a second genocide in Azerbaijan. Uh, they were out on the, one, uh, the 101 freeway in Hollywood yesterday. They were on the 170 just a short while ago, but police did disperse that protest. This is now in Glendale, where it looks like several dozen people uh, are there. You see a lot of Armenian flags. We know there's a huge Armenian community in Glendale. So again, second day in a row that members of the Armenian community are out protesting what they call another genocide by Azerbaijan. We'll continue to follow. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, chosen and grafted, welcome to another video profiling. And, oh, I forgot to increase the volume. This is your humble servant, Big Levi, and today is monday october 5th 2020 and it's currently 1 20 a.m i can't sleep there are so much things going on out there brothers and sisters so much things so many things there's a plethora of things going out there let's go right into it all right um what you're seeing here those are the armenian people okay uh, there's a war going on right now it's not a dispute it's not uh well let me put the music so you want to hear that dapping thing in the background so it's not a, a dispute it's not uh a little squabble or like a little scrabble they have going on. it's a war and uh those people are dying both on both sides but the problem is it's um it's over there in uh well i don't know where that place is let's let's um watch like at least 30 seconds and we'll tell you why are all those things are happening around the world and why people simply do not care all right let's watch civilian infrastructures and civilian buildings with heavy missiles okay, this is this is well just today azerbaijan started heavily man that, that guy look creepy the capital city stepanakert azerbaijani armed forces started uh, targeting in intentionally civilian objects and population as a result of which we have already tens of casualties and much more wounded cluster missiles as a result of which we have civilian many uh, casualties oh, and my call bad. upon the international community is to react properly to stop talking and start acting they already when he said international whatever it meant the united states okay as you may know or may not know trump is sick he is in the hospital the people are panic they they confused they don't know what's going on and now those two countries armenia and azerbaijan uh, or azerbaijan or whatever you want to call it or pronounce it so they are war right now people this is real what you're seeing in the background right now is very real okay and it says in the in the good book in the last day nation will shall rise against nation okay brothers and sisters jews and gentiles alike chosen and grafted this is not for us this isn't jacob's trouble people if you look at this this is not jacob this is not jacob's trouble all right you, man this dude look like this dude <laughs> i don't want to make fun of him but this dude look like half asleep or whatever he probably in shock okay so this is real so let's let's continue don't be blind okay so those are missiles okay this is real okay they are dropping missiles and bomb rockets people are dying 
Back up. This happened like a couple hours ago. Uh, 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 the fourth, today is the fifth. Okay, Abedjan will not allow anyone to conquer Nago or Karabakh. I'm just translating what the, the Azerbaijan president is saying. Nagobajan is Azeri territory. We must return and we will return. So. My last condition is that we be given a schedule for the withdrawal. I have no idea what that means. Okay, you can see those guys with the guns. Okay, this is the Gentiles of the Armenian Armed Forces from the occupied territory. I think he meant to remove them. Okay, so there's fire for those who are listening and not watching. There's there's debris and damages and destructions all over, just like the Bible predicted. Oh, there's a pool of water. You know, people are dying, and uh, there's one. They were showing the dead bodies. There's a little lady right there. I think they ask her, is she all right? She's crying. People, this is sorrow. Okay, the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Okay, so she's crying. Okay, this is a horrible thing that's happening here, folks. This is a horrible thing. This is the Gentiles' tribulation, Esau's trouble. Okay, there, there will be no Jacob's trouble and definitely no fucking uh, chip. Okay, stop scaring our people uh, with your chip. Oh, they will be chip. They will put a chip in your head and one in your ass. And they are going to make you act like, you know, like a zombie or whatever. There, there will be no none of this bull. There is no physical chip. The chip was the acceptance of the philosophy of the Antichrist when they came here in 1492. This thing is already passed. Let's watch. She's crying. She's in shock. And those people don't know what's going on. There's a war going on now. A lot of destruction, all right? You can see the houses, they're all destroyed. See, this is a lot of destruction right here. A bomb went off there. There's a dude, he was speaking. He said he lost his daughter and his son. And then he got one son that is a, uh, 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 in, in very bad condition. All right, see those are that's the houses. Those people, that's the thing. Those people. What? Okay, this video is done. We're gonna stop here. Okay, let's get rid of that. So that's why those people are protesting. Okay, let's get rid of the protest. That's why those people are protesting. They are protesting. They are trying to bring this attention to the U.S. Okay, they're trying to uh, bring uh, this. Uh, this uh the the this war to the u.s they're trying to bring it to donald trump and the people remember uh brothers and sisters jews and gentiles are like chosen and grafted those people really do not care about us all right <clears throat> now they are going through hell and all of a sudden they want our help okay they want our help i never i didn't see the armenian coalition say we're going to stand with the hebrew with the hebrews we're going to stand with the hebrew israelites and then we're going to tell the truth and we're going to uh support them ser serve their gods and cleave unto them so why should i pray for them jeremiah 7 16 therefore pray not thou for for these people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them neither make an intercession for to me for i will not hear thee Okay, so let's see what that word means, intercession. All right. Intercession. Noun. The action of intervening on behalf of another. So we should not intervene on the behalf of those people. All right. Similar. Meditation. Negotiation. Arbitration. Conciliation. So another word the most i tell tell us to stay out of the way mind your own business this is not your fight okay brothers and sisters all right this isn't our fight 
I don't know if the music is too loud. Let me reduce it just a little. All right. There's that feedback in the background. Stay out of the way. This is the Mosai, the Mosai's work. Okay, so those people are here. They are protesting. Okay, they are protesting because there, there are people are being murdered and killed. I don't know what's going on. This side say they are being murdered. The other side say they are being murdered. Stay out of it, man. The cup has been passing on to them. Okay, they don't know what's going on right now, all right? So don't go over there and try to um, pray for them. Oh my God, pray for those poor people. They are being destroyed. Th their time is up. This is the comeuppance. This is the result for every action. There's a reaction, all right? Okay? Do not pray for those people. Do not pray for your enemy. Pray against them. All right? I'm very serious. Well, the Mosa is not playing, man. All right, now we, we're done with this. Let's move to the next. Uh, oh, well, that uh, there was another video. What did I do with it? All right, let's let's move in, brothers and sisters. Let me stop this right quick, brothers and sisters. This fire is been burning in California for months now. There you go. Fire watch now. Deadly wildfires in California have now burned more than 4 million acres this year. And that is a new record for most acres burned in a single year. Here are the latest numbers. The previous record was two years ago when wildfires destroyed 1.67 million acres. Cal Fire said the state hit the milestone this morning with about two months still left in the fire season. Most of Brothers and sisters, this is no joke right here, brothers and sisters. This is the apocalypse of Abraham. Okay, this is the apocalypse of Abraham. Okay, we do this every single video, all right? Let me explain. The apocalypse of Abraham. There's 10 plagues in the apocalypse of Abraham. Plague number one, sorrow for much needs. Sorrow. The word sorrow means unhappiness, uh, sadness, misfortunes. Okay, that's why you see that lady was crying. So, fiery conflagration of the cities. The word fiery means, let's Google that right creek. Okay, the, word, the very word fiery means, okay, they always mess with that. All right, let's give it a moment. An extensive noun, an extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land and property. Fire, blaze, flames, inferno, a fire, firestorm, and my favorite, holocaust. Okay, this is their true holocaust. All right, this is the Gentiles' trouble, Esau's trouble. Stay out of it. Because why? Because Genesis 15, 13, and he said unto Abraham, Know for surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years you took you came here to our land you enslave our people for 400 years 1619 to, to 2019 400 is up the most is judging you how is going to judging you okay what's going to happen to the people that did this to us you did this to us so in 2019 this prophecy was fulfilled it was accomplished it was done it was complete so next verse 14 the most i say and also that nation whom they shall serve will i judge and afterward shall they come out with great substance so once the most i done with you once which is brothers and sisters you haven't seen nothing yet once the most i completely destroy you people we're going to get out of here with great substance. All your riches that you're storing and, uh, and, and saving, thank you. You're doing that for us because you ain't going to get away with it. Wherever you are, you're going to be fine. The Leviathan has been released like eight years ago. Okay? The Sulanuf is still uh, in, uh, under the water. If you don't know, the Sulanuf is a monster that the Most I have in the book of Jasher. Wherever you are, it will find you. No matter how. No matter how, how much high technical uh, high tech you have in your house, how, how many no matter how many how much sophisticated technology that you have that lack your house, the Sulanuf will find you and it will unlock your house. It will take you out and bring you and bring you down. Okay, Genesis 14. Let's precepts that 
with the Acts 7 verse 6, Acts 7 verse 6, and God speak on these wise, and his seed should sojourn in a strange land, and that they should bring them into bondage, which means slavery, and then treat them evil for 400 years. Then again, the old, the, the New Testament is repeating what the Old Testament says. So you, you took us, you beat, rip, rob, murder us for 400 years, and now, next verse, here's your judgment. And the nation to whom they shall they shall be in bondage will I judge, save God. And after after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. So and uh, this is how the fathers judging you with the ten plagues. So this is so for much needs, the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham, fiery conflagration of the cities. When you look at what's going on in uh uh Armenia, let's take a look uh, let's take a look. This is just for reference, okay. I uh, mean, let's uh, let the music play so you won't hear that hissing thing over there. Okay. Armenia. Uh, Oops. What? Uh, fun fact, Kim Kardashian is Armenian, so. Armenia. War. Oops. War image. All right. Oh yeah, I was watching this. Oh, this was like bad, man. All right. So, what you see here this is fiery. This is war, fiery of the city, okay? Those those guys are not playing, man. They are fine. There's another war going on uh between India and China. It's just silent. Oh man, when I saw this, um let's see. Okay. And they are fighting for land, man. It's a land thing going on. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get the the video so we can show you that's the that it's prophecy. This is not fake. This is not false flag. And people will say that this is false flag. That the Illuminati tried to bring uh, the new world order, brother. That's why they are doing this. No, it's not. All right, people, let's enlarge this. Okay, fiery. Okay, this is a fiery con conflagration of the city. Let's see where that fire was. Here we go. The people, this is fire. This is the bomb dropping on the, the whole place. Global news. Man, look at this dude, man. This dude. This dude is like, hey man, he's like, he really don't care. Like, yo, whatever, man. Okay, the whole cities are being destroyed. Jeremiah 7, 16 tell us, like, stay out of the way, man. Your own goddamn business. Don't be going over there and try to pray for those people and try to say, oh, we feel bad and stuff. This has nothing to do with us. Okay, let those people handle their businesses, all right? Like I told you. The Gentiles will destroy each other. Brothers and sisters, please be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. There will be no Jacob's trouble. May peace be with you. May peace be among you. May peace be in your house. Please don't listen to those people that keep telling you there will be a chip. They will put a chip in your ass. And the Antichrist is going to come. And the seven years tribulation, there will be none, none of this nonsense, none of this bull, because it's already passed. Those people don't read other books. They have no idea what's going on. They have, most importantly, they have no idea what had happened. Okay? During the Spanish Inquis Inquisition, during the slavery that our people went through, that was all Jacob's trouble. There will be no seven years of hardcore Jacob's trouble. Again, like I told you, those people are going to try to come after us, but they're going to end up destroy themselves, just like they are doing right now in this video. They, they are killing each other. Okay, people, this is fire conflagration of the cities, all right? All right? Again, when you look at the ten plagues, they're all in full motion, all right? Number three, destruction by pestilence and among the cattle, all right? Your beasts, your cattle, all of them will die by pestilence some disease going to come and then they are going to die famine of the world in china right now let's pull up china famine and china okay uh that's a month ago oh boy there you go what, what, what there was one that came in um like a few hours ago 
famine china uh because of flood oh boy okay 13 hours ago yes okay all right so uh, i'm gonna see if i can read it if it if it appear okay china farmers and um china farmers plunge into serious famine because let, let me read this again okay farmers plunge into serious famine because of flood causing the loss of both crops the summer central and southern china suffer from severe that damage the crops and many chinese farmers were in dire streets during the past four months continuing the heavy rain occurring in many parts of china damaging rice when flooding started the china national Meteor meteorological center warns area and central so southern and southwest china and expected to continue expensive heavy raining for the next few days a farmer named chen and pyongyang poyang district sheng sheng ryo city during xi province province eastern china okay told the chinese epoch times the rice has been just started to flood but cannot flower okay I really just want to cry water. My eyes are exhausted. So he, see, look at this, people. Look at this destruction. This isn't Jacob's trouble. This is not happening to us. Okay, those people are, and then, oh, oh the, the, the elites are doing this. The Chinese are doing this. They are? Look what's going on in China right now, man. There's famine, the water, the floods. People are dying. Okay? People, look, this is all destruction. Those people are dealing with a lot of hash right now, man. All right? Okay, this is not Jacob's trouble. So, um, let's go back to the uh, the templates, all right? So, now, destruction or famine of the world, the Gentiles' wars. People, uh, you will be fine. If you are a chosen, you'll be okay. You'll have food. Don't worry where that food is going to come from trust me you will be fed you will be fed properly you will eat and then is, is it a two-way you know we have been taken to goshen okay because um when i read it i can't get clear understanding um they say after all of this has happened they're gonna take us to goshen or at certain point okay um i think i think uh, um be somewhere around Destruction by earthquake and the sword. When 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 they start fighting, they start warring into each other, and then we're gonna get out of here. Either we go to Goshen. I don't know where Goshen is. Okay, Goshen could be in the North Pole, South Pole, on Mars, on the Moon, underwater, somewhere. The Mosai said he has a very specific, special place for us. There is a lady, a Levite. She was testifying on the radio. She said uh, um, the angels came to her and told her that they have a very special place they are preparing for the people. And uh, the people that's in, uh, on, the below, in, uh, on the island, on the Holy Land, uh, Haiti, to the Lebanese to get the hell off. All the Gentiles get the hell off, leave our people, and they're going to close the portal that the devil's open in the island. Okay, told all the Gentiles, leave leave food for the people drop the money okay leave everything leave all the gold leave all the gold and then diamonds because the most is going to come he's going to kicking ass and taking name yahushai yeshawa yeshaya yeshaya what you are calling jesus christ when he come he's not coming to play he's coming to kicking ass and taking names he's going to kick your ass and take your name just like you did to us all right increase of hell and snow while beasts will be their graves pestilence and hunger will change their destructions execution by the sword and flight in distress thunder voices and destroying earthquake all right so now what you see now in our bergeat a virgin as a virgin in armenia so um it's it's uh the the templates of the apocalypse so everywhere all right so now people the reason why we're doing this is because isaiah 28 tell us 
for precept must be upon precept all right whatever you said you have to precept it we precept everything here all right precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little i hear a little a little Chinese there, a little st this there, a little definition there, a little image there. Okay, that's how that's how you explain prophecy. That's how you do things. You don't just pull things right out of your butt and start explaining them without precept them in the Bible. Okay, all right, here a little and there a little. Okay, all right. So Jeremiah seven sixteen, don't get involved with those people. All right, brothers and sisters, so what you can see here, fire, con fiery conflagration, famine and all that, none of those things happen to us because this is not our trouble. This is the, this is the beginning of the Gentiles' trouble. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, can you imagine, because Trump is still in the hospital, he pulled a little stunt today, okay, so he got out. And then uh, he got in his car, and then he drove around for a few minutes, well, 30 minutes, okay, and then he went back to the hospital. So a lot of people were pissed off because this is he has a contagious disease, and it's very, very dangerous for him to do this. Trump is in the hospital. Okay, he's ha he has, they say today they're going to discharge him. Today's Monday, 1.45 a.m. We'll see. We'll see, people. We'll see. Okay, Father is working on our behalf. All we need to do, brothers and sisters, shut the hell up. Don't pray for those people. Don't argue with them because the cup has been passing on to them. All right? That's why they are so confused. They don't know what's going on. And this dude, uh, he was talking uh, in the beginning. He, he Okay, his name is what that dude name? Uh, let's see what's this dude name. Attack Berglawian. Okay. Uh attack. Alright. Boy, look at this dude, man. It's it's really <sighs> again. Uh um, I'm, I'm gonna just tell this dude this or whoever's Armenian or Abashkastan or what whatever. You, you know what? The word oh, okay, this is John. Azerbaijan. I thought that was Stan because the word Stan means black. So all the country we are, you know, as Kazakhstan, uh, Afghanistan, or Kazakh, is dark Stan. All the Stan mean black. Like those are country where dark skinned people, all people were living. Uh, Hebrews, they were over there and then uh, ruling, but they got killed and all that. So <laughs> the Mosai is destroying the third part. And all that good stuff, okay? If you are an Armenian or whoever it is, we cannot pray for you. And we will not pray for you. Better yet, we'll pray for your destruction. Because what's going on over there is is, is judgment, alright? As you can see, and uh, New York is being shut down. Okay, New York is being shut down. Uh, nine, nine zip codes and New York is being shut down. Because the thing is uh, is uh, is all over, okay? Okay, this dude was talking about like civil war when uh, Trump, if Trump doesn't win. Yes, but you guys are going to end up killing each other. You think you're going to come after us? No, you're going to end up killing each other, man. Okay, you guys are going to end up uh, killing each other, murdering each other. That's that. Just like you see those people uh, that are putting fire, that are setting the city on fire, they, they are not our people. Our people are at home right now. Some of us look like like some of them look like us, but they are not our people, and they're not two third at all. They are Gentiles. The two third are at home right now, smoking, drinking, watching videos, and playing video games. They really do not care. The two third are the one that talking about like, oh, Cardi B in this, Cardi B and that. Um. Kim Kardashian is this, Kanye West is that, okay, so those are the one, oops, there we go, those are the one, the two-third, the Gentiles are in the street burning each, uh, everything, they are killing each other, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you, be at peace, there will be no Jacob's trouble, there will be no FEMA 
a, a, a truck that's going to come and pick up the Israelites and put them in FEMA camp, gas them, beat, rip, rob them, and asking them, do you believe in Yahweh Shai? Are you serving Yahweh Shai? None of this garbage will happen because it already happened. Uh, I already made plenty of video of, uh, explaining that, and I'm, I'm still going to say this, all right? There'll be no freaking chip. There'll be no Antichrist. All those things pass. This is the Gentiles' tribulation and the uh, and, uh, um, Esau's trouble. Genesis 25, 25, all right? This is their trouble. Stay out of this. Stay out. Let the Mosai do what it does best. The Mosai is a man of war. All right. Let him do his job. Stay out of the way. Stop praying for those people. Of course, well, if you are quote unquote a chosen one or a grafted, you cannot pray for them. Okay, the people that pray, their, their prayers are in vain. He already told you this. All right. So the reason why you see those people are like all messed up. And they don't know what's going on. Some dude is so like, okay, is Trump sick? Is it a political stunt? Or is it has a chip? Don't don't drink the cup with them. Okay, Lamentation 421. Rejoice or be glad, O daughter of Edom, the Gentiles that dwellest in the, the land of Uz. The cup shall also shall also pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked. Okay, so they are drunk, they are showing their stupidness. Okay, Trump. He was supposed to be quarantined and stay there, but he sh he's drunk. He has to show how stupid he is. He get on his truck and his car and been driving around. Okay? Spreading that thing. People, st keep a close watch. Pray. Every single day, pray against them. Don't be praying, oh, Jesus, uh, oh, oh, Yahweh Shai, Yeshaya, please stop all that. No. Get on your knees. Ask the Lord to forgive you and redeem you and pray against them. Pray for more hell, pray for more confusion, pray for more pestilences, pray for more fires, pray for more COVID-19, pray for a meteor to go out of, to crack the sky open and fell on the White House, pray for some meteor to fell on those cities and burn people and kill people. The only way for us to get out of this mess is for the Gentiles to fall and fall hard and cannot get up and they will not get up. Okay, for, for those of you that, that are grafted, the chosen Gentiles that are listening, listen to me. There is something very special in this package for you. You will never ever be sick again. You will have new bodies. You will have technology that is beyond anything you can possibly ever imagine. Remember those Star Wars movies? You will have those technologies. You will enjoy those technologies with us. But the only thing is, we'll be on top. You will be on the bottom. Okay, you'll be serving us. You'll be handmade and hand and, and, and manservant. All right, you will work for us. Okay, those are the grafted. The grafted, you'll be dwelling with us. Some of you will enter marry us if the most I want to. Okay, some of you will be with us in the kingdom. We all will rejoice together if you are grafted. If this message go through you and you know it's a fact, it's true. You know we are not black. We are not African American. We're not Haitian. We're not Jamaican. We're not uh, so-called a uh, uh, Mexican or whatever. We are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. We are the chosen children of God. If this is true to you, you know for a fact it's true to in your heart, and you tell the truth, you have nothing to fear. Just stand back. Let us the Most High do His things. Okay. If you have resources, send your send your resources. And I'm not saying that uh, you sending your prayers because your prayers won't work. The Mosai doesn't listen to you. You sent your resources and we pray for you. By resources, I mean your money. Okay? If you, I, I gave a specific message. I said, if you are Gentiles right now, you own an apartment. And there's a Hebrew in there that you know this Hebrew is in the truth. Cut off his rent. He's not supposed to pay any rent, point blank, period. In fact, you're supposed to come every month to him. You give him the rent that he was giving you every single year. I'm not playing with this. This is serious. If you know a Hebrew that is in the truth, that doing the work of the Lord, you don't, pay, you don't let him pay his rent. You pay him. You do otherwise, 
the most has something very 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 special for you okay so people do your research that was your big brother big levi doing what i can to wake up the people even if it's one that listen to this message it's all good on my watch because the most are going to question us for everything that we do brothers and sisters jews and gentiles alike we almost out of here all right all praises to the Mosa, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Shalom.